First of all, let me start off by saying with all the Michael Jackson fans, please make some noise in the building this evening. But when I was talking, I was talking about somebody live. And the fact of the matter is, we watched this get right in front of our own face. Cat Williams just revealed something shocking about Michael Jackson that has everyone talking. With a bold voice and fearless attitude, Williams didn't hold back as he shared details that have never been heard before. Could this change the way the world remembers the king of pop? Let us dive into what Williams has uncovered that will make you doubt about everything you thought you knew. The real side of a music icon. Williams's remarks go beyond the familiar narratives surrounding Michael Jackson. His insights address Jackson's relationship with fame, his deeply isolated existence, the unyielding pressures he faced, and the tragic manipulation by those around him. By exploring these layers, he attempts to reframe the narrative of the king of pop, presenting him not only as a musical genius, but as a flawed, deeply human individual caught in the pitfalls of celebrity. This perspective, both compassionate and critical, has captured the public's attention in a way that only a figure like Williams can. Before we delve into this, it's clear that Jackson's reality was far darker than anyone could have expected, and what Cat Williams reveals won't be the only thing that will shock you. From the moment he began performing with the Jackson 5, he was thrust into the limelight, and from that time on, his life became a subject of fascination and judgment. In his analysis, the way he was portrayed by the media was a double-edged sword. He argues that the very media that built him up as a global icon also tore him down with sensationalist coverage, particularly in his later years. He contends that the media's portrayal of him was often a carefully crafted narrative meant to feed the public's desire for entertainment, even at the cost of his mental well-being. He paints the media as a powerful force that shaped the public's perception of him in ways that may have distorted reality. To him, the media took the image of a young, immensely talented boy who grew up in the spotlight and turned him into a character in an ongoing drama, stripping him of his humanity in the process. This narrative, he suggests, was molded by a public eager for scandal and spectacle, leaving little room for compassion or understanding. His fans have long felt that the media capitalized on his personal struggles, using them as fodder for stories that sold millions of copies. He echoes these sentiments, arguing that society's perception of him was largely a product of media manipulation, crafted to create intrigue and drama rather than convey the truth. He invites his audience to challenge this portrayal, asking them to see him not as a tabloid figure, but as a man with genuine struggles, insecurities, and vulnerabilities. In his view, one of the most tragic aspects of his life was his profound isolation. From an early age, he was surrounded by the machinery of fame, a whirlwind of cameras, fans, and handlers. He emphasizes that his introduction to fame as a young child meant he never experienced the everyday aspects of life that many take for granted. He was always performing, always under the public's gaze, and rarely allowed a moment to just be himself. According to him, this constant exposure was both a gift and a curse. As it cemented his place in music history, but left him deeply isolated and unable to connect with others on a personal level. He describes this isolation as a unique form of imprisonment. He notes that his fame created a bubble around him, making it impossible for him to go unnoticed or lead a private life. For him, even simple tasks required elaborate measures to avoid public attention. This seclusion, he argues, was a defining factor in his eccentric behavior and reclusive nature, as he sought ways to shield himself from the intense scrutiny that accompanied his fame. In an era before social media, his fame was unparalleled. He was not only a pop star, but a global phenomenon, transcending cultural and geographical boundaries in a way few artists have. But as he points out, this level of fame left him vulnerable with few people he could trust. The isolation that came with his fame, he argues, was deeply damaging, robbing him of the ability to live a life outside of his stage persona. His reflections on this isolation serve as a reminder of the high cost of celebrity, urging fans and the public to consider the toll that such fame takes on an individual. After seeing how fame affected his life, we now step into the years filled with serious troubles, where the media turned every issue into a big story. 
When fame turns against you. When discussing his legacy, it's impossible to ignore the controversies and allegations that clouded his later years. Throughout his career, he faced multiple allegations of inappropriate behavior, allegations that would come to define his public image in significant ways. He tackles this sensitive topic head on, but his focus is less on the allegations themselves and more on the media circus that surrounded them. According to him, the media's treatment during these periods exemplifies a larger issue with how society judges public figures. He argues that the media's role in the allegations against him transformed what could have been a private matter into a public spectacle. He describes the media as a feeding frenzy, a powerful entity that sensationalized the accusations and portrayed him in a way that catered to the public's appetite for scandal. He suggests that the media's influence over the public's perception was so strong that it essentially acted as a court of public opinion, convicting him in the minds of many long before any verdict was reached in a courtroom. This trial by media, as he calls it, not only affected his career, but also his mental health and personal life. By constantly focusing on the allegations, the media turned his personal struggles into a form of public entertainment, reducing a complex situation to tabloid fodder. He argues that this portrayal was inherently unfair, robbing him of his right to a fair and unbiased public image. He urges his audience to consider the impact that this constant scrutiny and judgment had on him, calling for a more compassionate and balanced view of the artist's life. In another part of his revelation, he shifts focus from the media to the people who surrounded him during his life. According to him, his wealth, fame, and influence made him a target for exploitation by those who saw him as a means to their own ends. This manipulation, he contends, was one of the most heartbreaking aspects of his life. The comedian suggests that many of the people in his inner circle viewed him not as a friend or family member, but as a resource, someone they could use to further their own ambitions. He describes his relationships with some of his closest associates as fraught with hidden agendas. He argues that his trusting and generous nature made him vulnerable to manipulation as he often gave people the benefit of the doubt. He paints a picture of a man who, despite his immense success, was often at the mercy of those who sought to control or influence him. This exploitation, according to him, was not just limited to financial gain, it extended to people trying to shape his decisions, career, and personal life. By highlighting this manipulation, he provides a glimpse into the darker side of fame, the side that is rarely acknowledged, but that many celebrities experience. He underscores the idea that his eccentric behavior and reclusive lifestyle may have been, in part, responses to the constant exploitation he faced. For him, his life serves as a cautionary tale, illustrating how fame can make a person both powerful and incredibly vulnerable. He highlights the huge impact on music and culture despite his many personal and professional struggles. He points out that he changed the music scene with his innovative music videos, unforgettable dance moves, and groundbreaking albums. He strongly believes that his creativity and influence in the music world shouldn't be forgotten because of his difficulties. He argues that his work still shapes today's music scene. He admits that Jackson's life was full of ups and downs. He faced tough times, but also achieved great things. He sees this career as proof of toughness and dedication to music. He managed to create songs that are loved across the world, crossing over generations and cultures. His music shows incredible talent, vision, and hard work. In his view, this life is a story of resilience, a story about a man who, no matter how tough things got, kept focusing on his music. He thinks this commitment is worth celebrating. He believes the strong passion and dedication set him apart from many other artists. He wants people to remember him not only as a brilliant musician, but also as a cultural icon whose influence will last for many more years. He reminds us that he opened doors for many artists who came after him. By setting high standards, he inspired and challenged other performers all over the world to do their best. From being watched by the public to feeling betrayed by those around him, the next part shows how even close friends used his fame for their own gain. A music icon's legacy lives on. Through his words, he encourages everyone to look at this person's entire life and career. He suggests focusing on artistic achievements instead of just the controversies. By doing this, he hopes people will see him as a major figure in the history of music and culture, whose work will continue to be important. He is sending a strong message, 
We need to truly value this artist for the huge impact he had on music and culture. He urges us to view him not just through the lens of personal challenges, but as a trailblazer who reshaped the music scene forever. According to him, his legacy isn't just about the hits made, it's about how he broke down barriers and laid new paths for future artists, influencing generations. He stresses the importance of recognizing resilience and significant artistic contributions. He wants us to see the full extent of these achievements. He believes the ability to face tough times head on and still bring innovation and inspiration to work showcases what can be accomplished with true dedication and passion in the arts. This perspective pushes for a deeper appreciation, acknowledging this person not only for worldwide popular songs, but also for influence in molding contemporary music and culture. His homage calls for a celebration of the lasting effects of the music and perpetual status as a genuine cultural icon. He encourages us to look past just the popular stories and consider the enduring, impactful aspects of artistic contributions. His words highlight the unique and pioneering nature of this career. He points out that he was more than a performer. He was a visionary who transformed the entertainment industry with original style and musical genius. His path was one of constant evolution and creativity, which helped push the boundaries of what artists could do in music and performance. By celebrating groundbreaking work, he hopes to inspire a broader understanding and respect for this role as a pioneer in the music world. He emphasizes that the influence extends beyond catchy tunes and famous dance moves to substantial changes in the industry that pave the way for newer talents. Moreover, he argues that this story is one of perseverance and relentless creativity, qualities that artists aspire to embody. The continued influence on music, dance, and popular culture is a testament to an innovative spirit and enduring appeal. He wants us to remember these contributions, which have left an indelible mark on the arts and continue to inspire artists across the globe. In his tribute, he not only honors this legacy, but also calls on us to rethink how we view figures like him in the media. By focusing on artistic achievements and the obstacles overcome, he highlights the human aspect of this life, suggesting that the path offers valuable lessons on resilience and creativity. His appeal is clear. Appreciate this artist for the groundbreaking figure he was and recognize the profound influence he has had on our culture. He encourages us to delve deeper into this story, to appreciate the breadth of talents and the enduring legacy left behind. A legacy that will undoubtedly continue to shape the music industry for many more years to come. His comments provide a deeper and more personal look at a man who is often seen only as an untouchable superstar. He urges people to think past the scandals and the overwhelming media coverage to see him as a real person who dealt with huge challenges and paid a steep price for incredible fame. He points out that this life wasn't just about music or celebrity status. It was also about the real human experiences, the heavy costs of being famous, and the intense pressure of always being in the spotlight. This perspective hits home for many fans. They appreciate him reminding everyone that he wasn't just a public figure. He was a man with hopes, fears, and flaws. These fans feel that the true essence of him, his human side, was often ignored, overshadowed by the more shocking, headline-grabbing parts of the story. His words encourage them to see him in a different light, not just as a distant idol, but as someone with whom they might share common ground, despite a larger-than-life public persona. Beyond the ups and downs of his life, we now look at the lasting influence he had, shaping music and inspiring others in ways that still matter today. Looking beyond fame and scandals, his approach invites fans and critics alike to reflect more thoughtfully on how we view celebrities. He stresses the need for empathy and understanding for those who live their lives in the public eye. By presenting this life through a lens of compassion, he challenges his audience to see the king of pop, not just as a global icon, but as a man who navigated through life's ups and downs just like anyone else. These insights urge a reevaluation of how society remembers and judges public figures. He advocates for a more humane approach to understanding the lives of people like him, suggesting that public figures are subjected to scrutiny and expectations that can often distort their real stories. He calls for a shift in perception, asking people to consider the personal struggles behind the public persona. This more empathetic view could change the typical narratives around celebrities, offering a chance to appreciate their contributions 
while also recognizing their human vulnerabilities. His commentary opens up a space for a broader, more inclusive conversation about the impacts of fame, the personal costs associated with it, and the complex interplay between public adoration and personal hardship. This dialogue, enriched by his perspective, encourages a fuller appreciation of this life and legacy, moving beyond the simple caricatures often portrayed by the media. Through his words, he not only defends this artist, but also humanizes him, making the story accessible and relatable to a wider audience. The reactions to his statements have been as mixed as the emotions surrounding Jackson's reputation. For those who admire him, his comments have served as a form of proof, reinforcing their belief that he was often misunderstood and wrongly judged by the media and public. These fans have been active on social media, showing their backing by sharing positive tales and memories. They speak of his kindness, his willingness to give, and his genuine care for his fans. This resurgence of interest in his personal and professional life has led to new conversations about the impact of his music and his unique role in shaping cultural trends. His comments have stirred up mixed reactions. Some people are upset because they think he played down the serious claims made against him, which bothers them. They point out that while it's good to celebrate his musical achievements, we shouldn't ignore the serious controversies that were also a big part of his life. This ongoing argument about how to balance recognizing his talent with the problems he faced highlights a larger discussion about how we remember complicated celebrities who have been both deeply loved and heavily criticized. Despite different opinions on what Williams has said, one thing is clear. His words have sparked new conversations about this figure's life. Williams has brought a different viewpoint to the table, pushing people to talk about and think again about their usual ideas concerning him. This fresh discussion welcomes more people to look at his life from many sides, helping everyone get a deeper, more detailed understanding of his impact. These conversations show that people are ready to think over all parts of his life, his wins, his struggles, and his lasting effect on music and culture. By looking at his story from Williams' perspective, folks are diving into a more thoughtful discussion that goes beyond the usual stories. This debate, driven by different opinions and emotions, shows how strong his legacy is and how complicated it is to remember a public figure like him. It shows that to really understand someone like him, we need to look at both his good and bad sides and consider his entire story. William's statements have reopened discussions on how we view his contributions versus his controversies. As people debate this, they're coming to see that he was not just a star, but also a human being with a complex life. This renewed interest helps to paint a fuller picture, going beyond celebrity to touch on human experiences and the broader effects of his work and personal life. Is Cat Williams exposing a hidden truth about Michael Jackson, or is it all just a wild story? Tell us what you think and remember to like and subscribe for more.